Hi, John, the Banking Systems Engineer Termel, and this is the second part of the translation of the video Argent, which means money, by Isaac Isaten of Isca Productions. And uh, this is the solutions that he recorded in his video from Argentina watching the Credito Systems work. So, Patrick Vivere, philosoph and author from France, says, We say today that the hardest is to find money. Not at all. Humanity lived hundreds of millions of years, and it's not for that that evolution stopped. Money is a mere convention. Money has no value in and of itself. The only value which is given by money is the exchange between human beings who trust each other. Then a Bernard Maris economist and author, fundamentally it's the private banks who create the money. And I've explained that. It's not government. All governments are in debt to the private banks who they let create the money. Today it's the commercial banks for the public and business banks for industry. They get to decide to manufacture money. You have to see that it's an exorbitant power which is given to private persons. That's right, they can say no to you and foreclose and say yes to you and lend you the money to buy him out at foreclosure. Too much power for private industry to have. It's the blood of the economy money is. It's the right to make people live. The fact that the monetary creation is monopolized by private persons that means that the content of life of individuals is monopolized by private persons. And look at the job they've done of it. It's a denial of democracy. So now the Kreditos Barter Fair in the movie. They're showing the first Kreditos Fair that I ever saw. And there's a kid there with some cash in his hand says, It's the only ticket that I have, but there are plenty more. It's worth 20 credits. There are also some of 10, of 5, of 2, and of 1. You know, it's not real money. It's just a ticket. But it serves to buy that which we need. Clothing and food. Uh, when they first come here, people used to sell goods. Their used clothing, their shoes, mixers, television, videotapes, recorders. In exchange, they buy food. The Argentine economy collapsed. Here, it's a parallel economy. We work with credits because there aren't any pesos anymore. The credit, it's our peso, our work. Julio Archette. We simply generated a tool of exchange. You can call it money if you want, but it wasn't our intention. We use it simply to represent the value of each person's work. It's what we've always done. When I had a job and they paid me in money, and with this money I bought bread from the baker, I was doing truck. I bartered my work for bread. I used money as an instrument. Today I do exactly the same thing. I work in an exchange. They give me a ticket that worth the value of the work. And with this ticket, I go to a trucking fair and buy the same bread. Now, work is energy and energy is power over time and therefore work and time can be analogous so when i talk about the time standard of money i'm talking about manpower over time an hour of manpower and that's equivalent to work the herbs of work so we're it's the same energy based uh accounting a woman she says oh yeah uh and buy some bread. So the only thing that was changed was the tool from the peso to the credito. Now a woman says, my work earns me pesos with which I pay my taxes, my rent, etc. And with the credits I can earn here, I fill the fridge and I can even afford shoes and clothes. I purchase things for my son, gymnastic equipment, CDs, software. Yes, credits are like money. In the province of Buenos Aires, people even pay their electricity and their taxes with credits. It's not yet the case in the capital. Credits are like money, except there's no legal recourse. It permits one to frequent all the barter fairs in the network throughout the country. It's an alternative to the crisis. As we have no money, we use creditos. For example, I'm paying for this manicure with credits that I receive for selling my own merchandise. Back to Julio Ar Arche. Previously, we had the peso. When it ceased being available, we asked ourselves, what can we do? And we invented a new currency. And in the background, they have this huge semi, this huge truck. And inside it, you have people counting out little packets of, like, Monopoly money. You know, they're new currency packets for new people coming aboard of them. So, good stuff. Um, he says, well, we had no, so we invented a new currency. Simply put, we told ourselves, do we believe that it can work? Do we believe in the value of this piece of paper that what I'm offering you? Do you give it credibility? 
You agree that it's worth what I'm telling you it's worth, right? An hour of my time? Okay, so you'll accept it. So, Julio says we've had a growth of a thousand percent in three or four months. Before the crash, we were a million and a half, two million people. And now today, we're around seven million. And the monetary circulation that we have going on in our trucking clubs is equivalent to several billion dollars if we consider the money against the dollar. So the narrator says the Argentinians invented the credito from economic necessity. But I also met people who invented a currency for political reasons. In the United States, there exists more than 500 communities using a local money. Ithaca is one of them. <clears throat> Ithaca, New York State. It's a question of community. The value of Ithaca hours is based on our work and our goodwill. That's an important factor for me. This money has changed my life because I've been able to exchange skills that I had difficulty selling. Reading tarot, for instance. When I ran out of money, I was able to feed my kids thanks to Ithaca hours. On our dollars, it's written, in God, we have, in God we trust, these words on our currency is we in the community of Ithaca we trust. With Ithaca hours, we actively sustain our local businesses because this money has no value outside the community. And of course, that's not true. Every neighbor who's coming into Ithaca at some point will probably take it as a choice compared to not being able to have the business at all. A dentist says, some people don't manage to earn dollars, but they have other sources of revenue in Ithaca hours. It brings me clients who would not come otherwise. I can then use these notes in local businesses. It's a good thing for health professionals like me. On one side, I have my clientele. I prefer a client paying less than an empty chair. And I prefer helping a child prevent cavities than to have to treat him later. Carol Chernikoff, director of the credit union. Can I pay part of my loan in hours? Yes, you can use two hours per payment at our credit union. We are the only bank with a federal charter that accepts alternative currency. Kevin, the only point common on our system in a bank is that we don't make loans. They should. We sometimes make grants to community organizations. You should make loans. We offer a little financing to local businesses. Well, that's loans. But we are not a bank in the sense of a financial in intermediary. People do not come here to deposit money that we lend out to others. Well, they don't do that at other banks, too. <laughs> but nothing stops us from creating wealth. You mean tokens. It's been eight years, the lady, second lady says, that I've been in business here. I opened my business at the same time they launched Ithaca Hours. I immediately accepted hours just like dollars. The loan of Ithaca Hours was real important to me. There was no paperwork. I had approached other banks, and as I had no tax records these last years, they were all refused. If the American dollar collapses, disappears, the economic impact would certainly be enormous. But I believe that if local communities have already installed their own proper mechanisms of exchange and established networks advertising who fixes what and who offers which medical service, they risk suffering less in a case of national depression. And now it goes back to Argentina with Julio Arche saying, the idea that we have a bank is an enterprise that makes money with money. But here in the barter network, we see the bank as an entity that produces goods and services by permitting access to a new instrument we call credit. The idea is not to build social credit, it's friendly credit. The idea is not to build a new financial system. Yes, it is. Here, the credits are loaned out interest-free. Yes, they are. Uh, we don't say like the IMF, I lend you 100, but you must repay 150. No, we lend a hundred and we say repay a hundred in goods and services, wares, or skills that are needed in the network. That's the collateral for their loans. The time standard of money, not just the gold and the stuff standard. Luis, thanks to credits that they loaned us, we have created almost 50 jobs. We only used 18,000 credits on the 30,000 received, but we've generated 50,000. This network permits us to control our money through production and to come to the aid of the community. For example, the fabrication of this piece of clothing permitted the production of bread and these pastries to feed the kids in the schools. The cooperative can prove solidarity works, which is the real raison d'etre. The women prepare these cakes on Sunday. We're going to bring them to the school. We procure flour, eggs, oil with the exchanges at the truck fair where we buy with credits. We're all going to get out of it together or not at all. If not, we call into the aberration of the system, where it's a handful of people who decide for the whole world. These people are fine, I guess, we suppose, because they all have what they need, and even in excess. 
Well, they stole our dreams from us. They dispossessed us of our means. What we're saying is they ignore us. Okay, we'll do the same. They don't give us the money that we need, so let's create our own. We now see happier faces in the quarter. The children know for sure they have a plate every day. Thank you, Julio Arche. Then the narrator. My journey is ending, and I've acquired a deep conviction that the control of money is a condition of democracy. A condition that is perhaps even more important than the right to vote. Local currencies develop regional self-sufficiency without which there can be no sane economic national economy, nor even sovereignty. In this sense, should local currencies not serve as a model for national currencies? Bingo. Use the same software on the national computer. So the nations like Turkey, Russia, Iran, Iraq, Asian countries, and the Middle East and Africa could start trading with each other's national currencies or even do barter. 